Hello you guys. So this famous famous game was played between Robert James Fisher and Donald Byrne in New York in a chess tournament. This game was played in 1956 and Bobby was only 13 years old. His opponent Donald Byrne was a strong international master and also a professor in university. Let's just straightly dive into this game of the century and examine the move of the century. Here Donald Byrne had the white pieces and Bobby Fischer had the black pieces there and he has played bishop to c4. And now if you give this position to a normal chess player he will think oh my rook is under attack why not I just move it to e8 here so if anywhere bishop moves I will give a discovery and have a ninth position here. But no. The problem with rook e8 is that the white can just castle here and he has somewhat equalized the position. Now here Bobby Fischer despite his rook is under attack plays the most amazing move in the position and the strongest move recommended by an engine, knight takes c3. If you have this position you will think haha his rook is under attack and his knight is under attack so I have a winning position with after knight takes c3. But no after rook e8 his bishop is just lost here. Ok now you will think queen takes c3 is not working what about just take the rook here. But after bishop takes bishop here, if you just try to take the knight free knight with here, just bishop to b4 and say goodbye to your queen. So after seeing all these variations, Donald Byrne plays the most logical move in the position, bishop to c5. Now your queen is under attack, so if you move it anywhere, I can just win the free knight here and I'm winning. Yes? No. Here Bobby played rook to e8 check and his opponent plays king to f1 and now now comes the move of the century and i will give you guys two lives to spot the move bobby fisher played here now i'm revealing the move of the century here despite his queen is under attack his knight is just lost here bobby fisher played the most strongest move recommended by an engine and the brilliant bishop to e6 now we will examine all the possible variation after bishop to e6 now if you take the bishop here you are just getting smothered mate after queen to b5 check and king is forced to g1 here otherwise if you go to e1 you are getting checkmated here so king to g1 then a famous smothered mate after knight d2 check king f1 not g3 here 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 and here okay bishop takes e6 is out of books what about i just take the knight here with queen takes c3 i'm just winning right no just a brilliant queen takes bishop because if you just take with the pawn you're just losing your queen here now here donald Byrne plays the only logical move in the position just take the free queen with bishop takes b6 and now the way bobby fisher crushed him is just out of this world. Bobby Fischer start butchering with bishop takes c4 and king is forced to g1 here and now the check storm. Knight e2 check, king f1, knight takes d4 check, king g1, knight e2 check, king f1, knight c3 check, king g1 and then ax b6. Now your queen is under attack so he moves to b4 here and now rook to a4 and then queen takes b6 and then knight takes d1 and he is just too much pieces up for a queen here. And now h3 have a free square for a king here and then rook takes a2 and then king h2 and then knight takes f2. Donald Byrne is being butchered here. And now we have rook to e1 trying to exchange one pair of a rook here just rook takes rook and before just taking back with the knight here just queen to d8 check. And now we have bishop back to f8 and then knight takes rook. Now we have bishop d5 cutting off the queen here and not allowing to knight to f3 here but knight to f3 anyway and now we have knight to e4 and now we have queen to b4 and now b5 and now he tried h4 here and just bobby fisher shut off all of the counterplay with h5 here and now he plays knight to e5 and now king to g7 and now king to g1 and the way bobby fisher just made it his opponent is out of this world Bishop to c5 check, king f1, knight to g3 check, king e1, bishop to b4 check, king d1, bishop to b3 check, king c1, knight to e2 check, king b1, and after knight to c3, king c1, just rook to c2 checkmate. Now if you like the video, do like and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for the more updates.